Hey everybody, this is Chelsea Schaefer and Caitlin Dustoff, and this is The Score, the official podcast of the sport of team roping. This is the Team Roping Journal's semi-weekly podcast, highlighting the team roping industry's top talents and influencers through stories that inspire and connect ropers. We sit down with ropers from the professional ranks, as well as industry icons and producers to delve into topics that make the team roping world tick. This is season two. It will feature even deeper interviews, storytelling, and issue-based coverage, and we are so excited you're here. Hey, Galen. Hey, Chelsea. Hey, everybody. This is a calm week on the short score. So calm this week. I'm excited. Um, so the, <laughs> the big news that we're going to cover this week on the short score are some circuit final stuff, as well as the horse of the year. Horses of the horses. year. Horses. Horses of the year. So let's do quick, give me the circuit finals information. What do we need to know? As of last weekend, they finished up with the Badland Circuit, the Turquoise Circuit, and the California Circuit. Um, I know Kendra Santos was at the California Circuit Finals all weekend. She was sending us in videos. Going in, we'll start with the California Circuit Finals. Winning the average at the Circuit Finals was Doyle Hoskins and Monty Joe Petska. They were 19.5 on three head, and that paid $3,166. And we know just Kendra had posted some photos, so we know who won the year end in that circuit, and that was Junior D's and Nano Garza. We stay they tuned a- later for full earnings and results. Yeah, they had a good circuit finals and kind of came from behind. They weren't leading it going in. So Mm -hmm. that's cool. Guys, like I said, the PRCA, or like Caitlin said, the PRCA hasn't fully updated all their circuit standings yet as of the time that we're recording this. So we'll let you know who won the circuit finals and we'll tell you as much as we can. Then moving on to the turquoise circuit finals, um, that happened in Prescott Valley over the weekend. Uh, Winning the circuit finals were Trey Blackmore and Seth Hall. I'm Pretty sure Seth Hall won the year end. Mm-hmm. Just gonna say that. Uh, they ended up roping three head in 23 seconds, and that paid almost $3,000 for the average. And the last circuit finals that happened over the weekend was the Badlands Circuit Finals in North Dakota. Uh, winning the average over the weekend was Turner Harris and Jade Nelson. They were 23.8 seconds on four head, um, which is kind of unusual for the Different. circuit finals. Mm-hmm. And that paid a little over $3,000. So, like we said, stay tuned. Once we get results in from PRCA, we're going to have more circuit updates later on, hopefully this week, if not next week. And this year, the circuit finals do not count for the Mm -hmm. world standings. Um, This is the only year that they don't count. Last, you know, in years past, recently, it's counted, and as did Kissimmee. There was a lot of negotiations going on, and so after this year, Mm -hmm. after the 2020 Dodge Finals, or or Ram National Circuit Finals, the Circuit Finals will once again count for the world standing. So That's awesome. Keep up, everybody. Keep up. (laughs) It's always changing. Uh, You never know. (laughs) Yeah. All right, and then if you've missed the big news, the the Horse of the Year is, is what we look forward to right now. Um, so with that said, Tate Kirkenschlager's um, Smoke mm-hmm. was the head horse of the year, and Billy Jack Saban's Sugar was mm-hmm. the heel horse of the year. So congrats to those guys. You know, um, Tate, this is his first NFR. Uh, Brad Lands owns that horse, um, the horse he rode in most of the summer. Uh, so we're excited to see that. And then Billy Jack Sugar, um, she's actually a reserve champion super horse in the AQHA. She made the finals in the pole bending oh, yeah. at the World Dustin Show. Dustin Rogers. Dustin <laughs> Rogers, the pole bending horse trainer um, and the pole bending jockey, showed her at the World Show in the pole bending. She also won a little bit with the other guys. Um, I know the pole bending, they would be pretty upset if I just said that that yeah. was her biggest <laughs> biggest cred, but she did really well in the calf ribbing and the healing, too. She was world champion um, in the healing. So now she is owned by Dixon Flowers Court mm-hmm. of Horses, and they won the Horse of the Year title with her. So uh, Billy Jack just missed the finals. Um, his partner, he got his partner, T. Wade, in. But, yep, congratulations to those horses and their connections. Excited to see at least smoke at the NFR mm-hmm. this year. I know. It's funny. Lane Ivy rode Tate's horse last year at the NFR, mm-hmm. um, the black horse that, you know, I don't know if Lane will let him borrow that horse back or if he's going to ride Smoke. I, I haven't asked Tate what his plan is yet. So. Yeah, stay tuned for more updates yeah. as we uh, prepare for this year's finals. Yes, so we've got lots coming up. Um, so this week is an off week for the score. Go back and listen to Farron Lucero if you haven't listened to Farron from last week. Um, that was a really popular episode, mm-hmm. which I like Farron. It surprised me that it was as popular as it was, but apparently mm-hmm. Mr. 
Farron is everybody's favorite personality at the roping, so you guys all like that interview. Now, next week, I am going to the American Rope Horse for Charity World Championships. Mm -hmm. But I'm going two days early, and I'm going to spend two days driving to everybody's house, sitting down with them in the living room, and talking to them for this podcast. So we've got interviews with Clay Tryon, mm -hmm. Gary Pointhress, who Gary is the one who developed the whole number system with Denny Gentry and developed all the computer analysis. So I'm super excited to talk to him about all of the new things that they've got coming out and then all the team rep in history that he knows that, that nobody else does. Mm -hmm. And then we've got, we're going to go into Trevor's. We are going to go to Turtle Pals and catch up with awesome. Turtle. There's going to be some really cool interviews that come out of this. Uh, Joseph Harrison, of course, um, find out a little bit more about what his plan is for next year and, and everything like that. So stay tuned. Also stay tuned for all the stuff from mm -hmm. the Rope Horse for Charity. And then in the meantime, uh, on the short score is going to be a, another red article. Chelsea read it herself um, with the Justin Cunningham story. Yes, it's the story so. of, of the roper that we lost way too soon. Um, and it was one of the, the articles that I've written that meant the most to me over the years. And so in case you haven't read it online, I think... I don't know, we've probably got 30-some thousand views of that story online, mm -hmm. but if you haven't read it, you haven't read it in print, you can listen to it next week on The Short Score. Yeah, and let us know how we're doing. Let us know if you love those online articles that are read to you. You don't have to read them. Mm -hmm. Leave us a rating and review. Yep, absolutely. All right, thanks, guys. We hope you guys have a great week, and we will talk at you soon. <laughs>